It's the promise that we must renew in every generation. Um, the industrial slaughter of millions of Jews, of Catholics, of Roma, of gay people, of socialists and others by the Nazis, not only must never be forgotten, but we must learn the lesson that we in our generation must take that knowledge to ensure that it never happens. And I want to acknowledge some very special guests here today. Fanny Starr, Colorado's oldest Holocaust survivor. In the world. And she said, you might not have heard her, when I said never again, she said, I hope so. And this bill that Fanny, you worked on and you championed will help make sure that the younger generation, my son Caspian is here, there's some other children here, that every Colorado child will learn about the Holocaust and genocide. And that also means the Armenian genocide, the Khmer Rouge genocide, the other genocides that have occurred uh, in the industrial era. What's that? Native American. Native American genocide. There are so many that we need to learn from. So that they're never again. You know, Fanny, Fanny has been visiting schools for decades. And Fanny, I want to thank you for your work advancing this bill. We have this was a month. Never happen again, and you'll be hearing from Fanny in just a moment. I also want to thank the Armenian National Committee, the Western Region and Armenians of Colorado, and I want to thank uh, Simon Makagian. Did I get that right, Makagian? Makagian. Okay, great. Simon Makagian. Uh, thanks, Simon, for your work on this issue. And I want to thank the sponsors: uh, Representative Michelson Janay, <laughs> Representative Sirota, Senator Fenberg and Senator Heisey. This bill will make sure that our future leaders, our future voters, our future business leaders and civic leaders and elected officials all make sure that we can learn from the horrific history of Holocaust and the genocide to make sure that we can honor those words never again in our time and in our children's time. And with that, I would like to turn it over to Representative Sirota. Thank you, Governor and everyone. Uh, it is uh, my deepest honor to be able to be here to watch this bill signed into law. It was just a year ago that I sat at the dining table of Fanny and Helen Starr and we began our, our journey on, um, on working on this bill. But the work had begun long before that uh, as Fanny and her late husband crossed the state educating Colorado children uh, with Ron Human and her work on genocide education. Um, and I am so grateful that now moment and say going forward Colorado's children in our public schools will receive Holocaust and genocide education that they will learn the lessons of our past that they will learn the signs and the symptoms to be able to identify wrongs going on to be able to know what it is to stand up to say no to defend others to do what is right
I was 17 years old and had received a scholarship to travel to Poland, I had to make a promise and a commitment upon receipt of that scholarship. My promise and my commitment was that I would always teach about the Holocaust. This bill, Governor, that you are about to sign and that Roz Duman, who was director of the Holocaust Awareness Institute before I was director of the Holocaust Awareness Institute, talked about some 30 odd years ago that Fanny and her husband worked so hard to educate the community. This bill is the fulfillment of my promise and my commitment to always teach about the Holocaust. But let me tell you something very important about this bill. Without the Armenian community, I do not believe we would be standing here today. The Armenian community came forward and said, the time is now. And I am so grateful to Simon and the whole community and for our former representative who is here today who always spoke so eloquently about his wife's Armenian family. And I am incredibly grateful to share this moment with you and to be the pack rat that I am so that I still have this bag from 1990. <laughs> Thank you, Governor. Is Senator Heisey with us? Sure. My, uh, my story getting here is just a, a little bit different as the one non-Jewish person sponsoring this bill. Uh, I was surprised, no, I was shocked actually to learn that we needed a bill like this. But then when we look into the bill itself, it is so much bigger and so much broader than than just the, the Holocaust, that uh, I am just proud to be part of this, and and I would like to thank everyone that got us to this point. So thank you very much. Thank you. Benny, we'd love to hear some words. Good afternoon, everybody. Sorry, I'm crying. You know, this is the past, what we went through since 1939. We lost so many relatives, friends, and not friends. And I just say, call Israel, Israel. I just choked up a whole day long. Why? That word, why? Why we deserve that, such an ugly treatment? We didn't kill, we didn't steal, and why we were murdered with all the reason. I lost my father, mother, my older sister, she was a genius, my brother, my youngest one, if he be alive, he be maybe the biggest opera singer. Cousins, very educated, uncle, everybody's gone. How I survive, I don't know. Maybe it was God's will to let me live. I can tell, just not my story. Just a six million story. I went away without the reason. That is the comment. Holocaust survivors, many survivors of genocide who are now living in our state, and experts on the subject of genocide. 
sponsors. And last but not least, I want to thank the many individuals and organizers, organizations who kept fighting for this legislation and never gave up. <laughs> Resulting in, re in reaching this very historic moment for Colorado. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam, Zehecha Yanu, Zekiyanu, Zman Vazeh. Praised are you, Lord our God, King of the Universe, who has kept us in life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this time. Finally, after so many decades, we have the legislation needed to make sure our school children will be taught about the evils of the Holocaust and genocides. We feel this is such an important tool that can and will further the goal of preventing genocides and crimes against humanity, and at the same time, inspire moral courage and provide lessons in human rights and human conduct, conduct for our next generation. Armenian genocide survivor. My father was born in the city of Maraj in Western Armenia, nowadays known as Turkey. The Armenians of Colorado support issues and concerns of Armenian and American community here and within the diaspora. We believe that the Holocaust and genocide education, including the Armenian genocide, which was the first genocide of the 20th century, as well as past and present present mass atrocities committed around the world is not only essential, but very critical. We believe it will help students get a deeper understanding of human rights, recognize warning signs of mass atrocity, understand that the true cause of these cri crimes is not just human loss, human casualties, but also the loss of economic, social, and cultural heritage. We hope students will understand the danger of remaining silent and indifferent to the suffering of others. We are forever grateful to the state of Colorado to give the Armenian community the opportunity to install on the state capitol grounds a Hachkar monument that commemorates the victims of all crimes against humanity and very thankful to make this HB 21336 the Holocaust and Genocide Education Bill the law. Thank you very much. the final stage in here making this a law for Colorado. Never again. 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 